morning, guys. It is Thursday, March 21st. I just got home. I went on a fun little road trip to Austin since the lovely Miss Anna Vera just moved there two months ago. And we hadn't seen each other since she's moved here, so I thought it would be really fun to just drive up there, kind of have a girl's night. So I spent the majority of this morning driving back home. I figured that today would be a perfect day to do a day in the life vlog, but it's not going to be my normal productive like get things done because basically I've been on the road for five to six hours in the past 24 hours. So I don't really feel like going anywhere, but I did start reading War Cross by Marie Lu. I am like so far ahead of my TBR list, it is crazy, and I will be making a Q2 reading list very soon. That's probably going to be the next video. But I started reading Warcross. I'm on page, I'm on chapter four, which I think is like page 28, 29, right around page 30. And this book is so hard for me to put down. So I thought it'd be really fun to do kind of a readathon. I really just want to relax. I don't have any live streams or client calls or t this week was just a much easier week for me. I've kind of just been flowing, flowing and vibing. It's been awesome. So I really just want to take the time today to read. I haven't done a readathon vlog in a while. I think it's going to be really fun. And based on what I've read so far of Warcross, I know that I will finish this book by this evening, even if I have to stay up till 2 a.m. to do it. It's going to happen. And then I do have Wild Card, which is the sequel to Warcross. And I'm probably going to start reading that right away because I cannot get enough of this world it's so cool it's like a virtual like if you saw ready player one it very much reminds me of that in a sense it's kind of like that virtual virtual reality and like there's like a whole game it's just like this giant game that everyone participates in called warcross okay anyways <laughs> enough of my rambling i'm going to unpack my suitcase kind of get myself organized and look at that i'm wearing my harry potter shirt that is the perfect perfect attire for a readathon I'm gonna unpack my stuff. I'm not gonna film that because that is so boring. So instead I will throw in a little B-roll here so you can see, you can see what Anna and I were up to in Austin. to go <laughs> we're about to go get some drinks that's what yeah. we're, about. we're about to go get some drinks okay i'm unpacked i'm outside it is 70 no 68 degrees and sunny in march so i'm gonna park myself in my hammock and i double checked to see what page i actually was on um, in Warcross and it is page 28. So I'm gonna lay out here and read and just really enjoy myself and yeah, let this readathon vlog commence. It's a little bit warmer with the sun beating down on you like that. It's a little bit warmer than I thought it was gonna be. So I was reading in the hammock for about 30 minutes. I read around like 20 to 25 pages really good so i'm gonna sit here now out of the sun i probably shouldn't be wearing all black i don't really know <laughs> what my thought process is today but this is so hard to put down i am enjoying it so much and i can't wait to keep reading so i feel like these updates are going to be very few and far between because i just i don't want to stop reading this book that is how good it is <laughs> Okay, so another hour has gone by. I am now on chapter 10, page 114. I should have checked to see how many pages. 353 pages. Oh yeah, at the rate that I'm reading, I'll definitely be able to finish this tonight. 
I think one of the biggest things that I focus on when it comes to doing a readathon is making sure that it's a day where, first of all, I don't have anything scheduled, and also choosing a day where I feel more in a relaxed state and I actually want to read. I find if I have a lot of other things to do and then I try to force myself to read, it's not an enjoyable process and then I end up putting off my reading even more. When you find a book that really, really draws you in and you just don't want to put down. It's very rare for me to find books like that. So when I do, I really just want to kind of give it my all, my full focus, full attention and pretty much read the whole story in one sitting. Another little tip when it comes to reading or dedicating a lot of time or a full day to reading is to make it fun. Make it like a readathon, make it an experience. You know, you don't have to sit on your couch all day and read unless that's something you really wanna do. I like to switch up the locations a little bit. So especially since it's so beautiful out today, reading in the hammock, you know, reading here on the patio, I will go inside and read on the couch. I'll take a bubble bath later and I'll read in the bubble bath. So making it an experience and something that's fun, you know, having your mug of coffee or tea or fresh lemon water, like I have a green juice. Switching up, just like I do for writing, I do the same thing for reading. I switch up my locations and my atmosphere because it just makes for, I don't know, it just makes for a fun experience. And then whenever I do a readathon like this, it makes me want to do it again sooner in the future because I had so much fun the first time around. I'm gonna grab my green juice now. Yum. So good. She always has dirt on her. You rolling around in the dirt. Thank you. All right, we're moving indoors. I hear cats. Hello. Do you mind if I come in here and read with you? Nolly, stay out there, Bobby. You sleeping in your corner? So I'm gonna sit in here and read with little Miss Lacey for a bit. What do you think about that, huh? All right, let's see how much reading I can get done with your talking and wanting some loves. I will love on you. I can multitask. <laughs> Okay, it is now seven o'clock in the evening. I took a bit of a break from reading just to kind of chill, cleaned up a little bit around the house, decided to go ahead and make dinner. I do plan on getting a Peloton ride in this evening, so probably in an hour or so. But I am halfway done with Warcross, so I'm gonna sit here on the couch and read for a little while longer and then probably go ahead and get that workout in. Today has been a really nice day, just very relaxing. I wanted to go ahead and take out my contacts. My eyes were getting so, so dry. <sighs> Give my eyes a bit of a rest, but back to reading now. Um, I just read another, gosh, I don't even know, like 70, 70 ish or so pages, but I am around page 250 now. So I only have a hundred pages left of Warcross. I think I'm going to pause and probably change into my workout clothes and hop on my bike and get a ride in. But I know I can definitely read those final 100 pages before going to bed this evening. So you guys, this book is so good. It is so, so good. I could not have picked a better book for my readathon vlog. <laughs> so I'm gonna go change, get my sweat on, and then we will finish this readathon vlog strong.
It is now 10.45 in the evening and I have just finished reading War Cross. I got my workout in and I was gonna take a shower but I was so close, you know, the last 100 pages. I was like, I just wanna read this, just wanna knock it out, be done with the book. I didn't really wanna be done with the book. I never wanted it to end, but I wanted to know what happened. So came back down here, decided to read for a little while. This book was so, so good. I have wild card is sitting right here. And so cool, it's even signed. I love that. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a shower really start winding down for bed and probably go ahead and read a chapter or two of wild card part of me <laughs> is telling myself not to start reading this book tonight because i have a feeling i'll just want to keep reading but you know we're just keeping this readathon vlog going but i think i got there's only so much footage i can get of me sitting in different you know areas of my house reading different chapters of a book so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm gonna go ahead and sign off here and just enjoy the rest of my evening away from screens but if you liked it please make sure to give it a thumbs up that helps me out so much and it lets me know that you like this type of footage and these kinds of videos and that way i can make more of these in the future don't forget to check out the description box below for information on my books courses programs and much more i hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world and i will see you in next week's video